Samsung stands out as a top contender in the realm of Android phones. While competitors like Google and OnePlus work hard on their devices, Samsung's Galaxy phones boast unparalleled refinement and hardware quality. If you're looking for the most powerful Samsung smartphones, you can choose between the Galaxy S23 Ultra and the new Galaxy Z Fold 5. Both offer high-end experiences with powerful hardware and excellent displays. The key difference is the hinge in the Galaxy Z Fold 5, making it a foldable device. If you're unsure about whether a foldable phone is suitable for you or if you prefer standard slab phones, we'll compare the Galaxy S23 Ultra and Galaxy Z Fold 5 to help you decide. Design Design is subjective and the Galaxy S23 Ultra's sleek look and feel impress, surpassing even Apple's fit and finish. On the other hand, the Galaxy Z Fold 5, like other foldables, can sometimes feel a bit ramshackle with its moving parts and cheap plastic screen protector. The new gapeless hinge in the Galaxy Z Fold 5 has improved its premium feel, bringing it closer to Samsung's S-series phones. Trying out a foldable phone in person is essential, especially if it's your first time using one. Foldables can be polarizing, and it's crucial to avoid spending a significant amount on a phone that you might not enjoy holding. The Galaxy S23 Ultra closely resembles its predecessor in look and feel, but the minor improvements, like the smooth curved display, make it one of Samsung's best designs. Additionally, the built-in S Pen sets it apart from the foldable, where using an S Pen requires a special case. If you crave innovation, the foldable might be a better choice. Display the biggest difference between these two phones is the displays. The Galaxy S23 Ultra has a sizable 6.8-inch screen, great for split-screen apps and movies. However, it falls short compared to the 7.6-inch panel on the foldable. Samsung maintained the same size and shape for the screens on the Galaxy Z Fold 5 compared to the Galaxy Z Fold 4. However, they increased the brightness on the inner screen to 1,750 nits, matching the Galaxy S23 Ultra. This enhancement ensures an excellent outdoor experience on both devices, even on sunny days. The Galaxy Z Fold 5 features a 6.2-inch exterior screen in an ultra-tall aspect ratio. While not everyone may find it comfortable, it's a convenient option for most tasks without having to open the inner screen. In the end, it boils down to whether you desire a foldable display or not. If that's decisive for you, great. But if not, there are still numerous other differences between these two phones worth considering. Software Samsung's Galaxy Z Fold 5 comes with One UI 5.11, offering some exclusive tweaks for big screen multitasking. However, for potential Galaxy S23 Ultra buyers, these changes won't matter much. The S23 Ultra already runs on One UI 5.1 and is functionally similar to the newer version on the Fold. Both the Galaxy Z Fold 5 and Galaxy S23 fall under Samsung's software policy, offering four OS upgrades and five years of security updates from launch. The Z Fold 5 will outlive the S23 by six months, and both will reach their end of life dates in 2028. They will both receive upgrades to Android 17, with Android 14 coming shortly after the Z Fold 5's August launch. Camera If you prioritize photo quality in your expensive flagship phone, the clear choice is the Galaxy S23 Ultra. While the Galaxy Z Fold 5 takes good photos, the S23 Ultra's camera array outperformed the Z Fold 4's last year, and since there have been no changes to the optics on its successor, it's likely to outshine the Z Fold 5 as well. The absence of new camera hardware on the Galaxy Z Fold 5 might be seen as a positive. Considering our extensive coverage of the Galaxy Z Fold 4's capabilities, you can get a good idea of what to expect from the Z Fold 5's camera performance. The Galaxy Z Fold 5 features the same 50-megapixel primary lens from the S22 series, which performs better than older Z series phones but falls slightly short compared to recent S series Ultra models. The foldable form factor limits the ability to include large sensors and telephoto lenses like those found in traditional smartphones. The two additional lenses on the Galaxy Z Fold 5 are quite mundane. The first is a 12-megapixel 2.2 ultra-wide shooter, suitable for crowd shots, while the second is a 10-megapixel 2.4 telephoto lens offering a 3x optical zoom for close-up shots. The Galaxy S23 Ultra's camera setup surpasses the Galaxy Z Fold 5's. It boasts a massive 200-megapixel main sensor with 16-to-1 pixel binning for detailed 12-megapixel shots, along with a 10-megapixel f4.9 10 zoom lens with OAS for excellent long-range shots. Additionally, it includes a 12-megapixel, 2.2 ultra-wide lens and a 10-megapixel, 2.43x telephoto lens, similar to the Z Fold 5. For the most camera hardware on a smartphone, choose the Galaxy S23 Ultra, it won't disappoint. However, for others, the Galaxy Z Fold 5 will produce fine Instagram photos. Battery Life 
While the Galaxy S23 Ultra is expected to outlast it, the long-term performance of the new foldable remains uncertain. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 could bring unexpected efficiency to the device, and last year's Z Fold 4 had good battery performance. The upgrade from Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 to Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 wasn't groundbreaking. Expect around 4-5 to five hours of screen on time in regular use, but only time will reveal the actual performance. The Galaxy S23 Ultra excels in battery life, achieving 7-8 to eight hours of screen on time on a single charge. It's challenging to envision Samsung's foldable surpassing that performance, which is right for you. In the end, choosing between the Galaxy Z Fold 5 and Galaxy S23 Ultra boils down to personal preference. Samsung has established itself as a top foldable phone maker even as competitors catch up. On the other hand, the Galaxy S23 Ultra remains one of our favorite Android phones, offering a reliable choice without the concerns of breakable moving parts. For a versatile blend of work and entertainment, the Galaxy Z Fold 5 with its two excellent displays, thin and light design, and strong software package is hard to overlook. On the other hand, the Galaxy S23 Ultra might not be as futuristic, but it's a reliable workhorse, always delivering on tasks, even with a slightly smaller screen. Which one you are going to purchase? Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5 or Galaxy S23 Ultra? Let me know in the comment section. As always, see you in the next video. Peace out.